I welcome you with your One Touch Ministries second our home gathering where our uh, apostolic uh, leaders are Pastor Shannon and Prophet is Nadidra Young, and I am your campus minister here. Uh, to today is December tenth, Sunday, and and I want to uh, start the order of service today. Um, if we're going to do a reading of a scripture here. Uh, by by uh Miss uh, uh by Sister Barbara Jack. Okay, we're coming from Romans twelve, verse thirteen. Let love be without division, or helper, and which is evil, clean to that which is good. Be kindly, official one to another, with brotherly love, in honor, and perfect, perfectly one another. Lord, slowly in business, fearing in spirit, service the Lord. Rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation. Continue instead in prayer. Distribute to the needed, to the necessary of Satan, given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice, <coughs> rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. But with the same man, one towards another, man not hide thee, but concede to men of lower estate. Be not wise in your own criticism. With me, with, with, mm -hmm. we, come, we come to his, to no man, evil for evil. Provide things honor in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lying in it, live peace, peaceful with all men. Dearly beloved, advance not yourself, but rather to give place unto rapture. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. Therefore, <coughs> if a man enemy hungry, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. For in so doing, that shall keep, that shall cheat heat, cheat cold of the fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. The Lord's word has been read and blessed for good and education by his man, body, and soul. Yeah, yeah, we're going to start prayer. Say where dear Heavenly Father, that we uh thank yeah, we uh gracious for you this uh, this morning for uh waking us up and putting us in, in our right mind. Uh dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for 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 for, for giving us peace this morning and, and for uh for bringing us up on one accord. Um thank you Holy Spirit for your uh for your love, for your patience, for your endurance. For uh, everything else that we are in need of for this week, um, we thank you for last week that, that everything went smoothly, that we all came together and we all uh, opened up and we uh, all had shed our tears and said our cries. And we ask, Lord, that you take those tears, you wipe those tears from our eyes, and you give us uh, a morning, Heavenly Father, so that uh, we, we can grieve in peace. In the Lord, for the name of Jesus. Give us up in your torn down covers of everything you said. We pray for, for those who are sick and shedding. We pray for those who have bereaved in their home, in their family. Lord, we want to say thank you. And we be good and kind unto all. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen.
Yeah, we're going. Uh, yeah, we're going to start praise and worship. Um, yeah, I'm going to say my song. Say, hold my hand, Lord. Hold my hand. Hold my hand, Lord. Hold my hand. Oh, I'm on this Jesus journey. How I want Jesus to hold my hand with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. I'm on this to Jesus' journey. I want Jesus to walk with me. What a mighty God we serve. 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 Heaven and heaven bore him. What if we don't him? That was the mighty God we serve. Amen. Amen. All right, so we're going to move to, say, testimony of time. Um, I want to give my testimony. Uh, I, I thank the Lord for waking me up and putting me in my right mind. Um, you forget, uh, you're, you're, for, for, for talking to me this we uh, uh, thank the Lord for asking you for blessing the people, uh, you know, our friends, family, loved ones, uh, even my uh, enemies. Uh, I thank the Lord for for strengthening strengthening up my weaknesses, uh, and, and and He's helping me to overcome my uh, insecurities. Um, no, so yeah, no, I I just thank the Lord for everything that He's doing for me in my life. And for my life and through my life, um, yeah. So then, therefore, that you know, I can be a, try to be a blessing to other people. Yeah, thank you, Lord, for letting them to push it against this street. This doesn't have eyes to see. He blessed them with ears to hear. Those who smell, mouth to speak. Hands to clap, knees to bend, and feet to walk. And just thank him for his strength to be what we do. You'll be able to pull it down. Pop your inner inside. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord. Amen. Yeah, I guess that you're, you're going to move on to the, ser the sermon part of the service. Um, if you do have your Bibles, 2 Corinthians okay. chapter 9, and we'll start at verse 6. And I'm just going to read from verse 6 to verse 7. Um, it's, it's in the say in a voice transaction, it reads, but but I will say this to encourage your gen generosity," said the one who plants little harvest. Uh, sorry, the one who plants little harvests little, and the one who plants plenty harvests plenty. For giving grows, giving grows out of the heart. Otherwise, you are re redundantly grumbled. Say yes because you feel you have. To or because you couldn't say no, but 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 this is the way that God want, wants it. For we know that God loves a cheerful giver, and as I explained last week here, uh, stewardship meaning where to manage over uh, someone and fears. Um, but I have explained to you that Christian stewardship, which is what we're talking about. Uh, is, is the practice of, of, of selflessness managing it, it, uh, everything that we have. And so, yeah, that's taking into account the, the gifts that we have, the, the things that we know how to do, the people that we in contact with, and those certain things. So uh, this week, I'm talking about 
being able to understand how, how to take your gifts and your talents and to take what you know how to do and to pour it into other people. And so, therefore, that they can grow. And so, you know, the Lord here encourages us where to pour out to other people. Um, mostly mostly when, when people think about growth, uh, the, the, the world teaches that we have to take in more things than we are pouring out. And so, so one one of the reasons why why we have a poor community and like our family and those type of things is because we don't have uh yeah yeah we never been trained how to pour out into other people. Uh, in the book of Titus, it it it, it talks about uh, Pastor Paul writing to Titus, explaining to him that that make sure that the elder women uh teach the younger women. You know how to be uh, wise, and so teach them how to be women, and so so one one of the things is yeah we have to know how to pour out, and so the Lord want us to know how to pour out, it's because uh, uh, so then that therefore God can pour into us what we pour it out, and so the, the, this is what God made He will fill up our bosom, but yeah with overflow, and so. So here in verse eight, it says, says that God is ready to overwhelm you with more blessings than you could ever imagine so that you will always be taken care of in every way. And you will have more than enough to share. So remember, uh, it, it said here, so remember what is written about the one who trusts in the Lord. He, he scattered about. He gave freely to the poor. And his righteousness endured throughout the ages. And so here in, uh, in verse 8 here, it says that God is ready to overwhelm you with more blessings. So again, what the Lord uh, encourages us to pour out and, and the reason why he wants us to pour out so he can pour into us those things. And so, um, yeah, so, so the Lord wants us to pour out. Um, uh, so the Lord want us to pour out, um, and so therefore He can pour into us those things. Uh, so now I'm going to continue reading the verse ten. It said the same one who has put seed in, into the hand of the sower and brought bread to fill our stomachs will provide and multiply the resources you invested in and produce an abundance harvest from your righteous actions. Is see so you see the Lord uh, uh, will uh, pour out to you because you poured out into others, and so verse eleven reads that you will be made rich in everything, so that your generosity will spill over in every direction, and, and so here God's saying when you pour out, when you uh, pour out, uh, your abundance is going to fill. It is not just going to fill. People financially is going to fill them uh, spiritually, physically. Um, is going to is is going to impact their lives, and, and so just a little small gesture can actually go a long way. And so we so when the Lord talks about uh uh yeah He wants us to pour out so then we can touch other people's lives. This is actually one of the things Jesus was preaching about when He said to go, let's go out and go make disciples. Uh, and, and so uh, a lot of people think that's referring to, you no, know, you having people under you and and them steady pulling from you. But the 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 message what Jesus was giving was he wanted us to make uh, uh brothers, and so he wanted us to connect with them and pour into them so they can finally because there there may be some things in their life that they need straightened out. And so with you being there to pour into them, you know, and and it could be minor things. Uh, as a parent, you know, a lot of parents have difficulty with their children. And so most of the time, the children just only may only want you where to give them more attention or, or you know, your another child, you know, they may want to do things with you. And so and so all childs are, are differently. And so when, when we do those things with those people, then we do pour into their lives and we actually help to build up a foundation within them. So when they get older, you know, then that they can know what to do 
and how to do things. And so they won't be lacking. And that's what the Lord talking about. I, I want to make you rich. Uh, and so the, the rich is referring to uh, those type of things. Uh, no, it does only have to talk about financial. And it said through us, your generosity is at work, inspiring praise and thanksgiving to God. So, yeah, so God gets thanks when he sees us pouring out to people and, and, and to invest in other people's business and, and to invest in other people and wanting to see them grow and to be, be become a more, more mature person. Verse 12, for this mission will do then bring food and water to the fellow believers that's in need. It will overflow in a cascade of praises and that's given to our God. So when this mission reaches Jerusalem and it meets the approval of God, people there, and they will give glory to God because your confession of the gospel of the anointed one led to obedience and action, your generosity sharing with them, and with all exhibited your sincere concern. Be, be because of the extraordinary grace of God at work in you, they will pray for you and long for you. And so what, what this is talking about is that when you're pouring, uh, 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 I remember um, this was back when I was under Pastor Steve. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I said to myself, you know, I mean, I, 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 I love Pastor Steve. He, he, he's like a brother to me. But it was a thing that 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 I had this thing where I kind of hated them, uh, not not for who he was, but but for who he, you know, uh, uh, I want to say who who he was, you know, being far from being a pastor and you know people looking up to him and and you know doing things for him, and I got jealous at, at that, and so I I, I asked God, I was like, why is he always getting all the attention? And that's when God explained to me, well, well, you will get the attention too if if you was pouring out to people all the time. So if you the one was doing things for people and and you know doing all these things for people, yeah, people those people who you pour out to, they will pray for you. It's because you know, yeah, they want to see you keep giving, you know, to them. And so yeah, so 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 when when the Bible say to pray for our leaders and to pray for those who, who, who are, you know, in front of us, then we want to do that because, you know, again, uh, uh, yeah, the generosity here is, uh, is that we, when they give out, then the Lord will keep pouring it to them. And so that way they can have more than enough and then they can take what they have and pour out to us. And then we take what they give to us. We pour out to other people. And so, so that's how, how, how this, Thing is is supposed to work, and so you know the 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 stewardship and growth is about understanding. Uh, but most importantly, yeah, we want to understand uh, not just uh, what to pour into people, but most importantly, in in what they need. And so, and and for us to know that we we have to understand this individual, and we have to know uh, what is it that they need in their life, and when do they need it. And so, we want to make that that communication very clear who we have, you know, friendships, relationships with. And so one of the things that, that was being saw here is God get praises from us learning how to steward ourselves and being able to grow. And that's to know how to take in and to know how to pour out and to know who to pour out to and when to pour out to them. Yeah, I want to speak all over your life, the sevenfold, blessings over your life like blessings number one uh yeah i speak blessings of health for you and your family uh number two i speak blessings of deliverance from any habits that you have in your life number three i speak peace to your mind from anybody or anything that may be disturbing you number four i speak salvation i speak blessings of Salvations to any friends or loved ones. Number five, I speak blessings of comfort to any person hurting, lonely, bereaved, or confused. Number six, I speak blessings of finances, debt cancellation, prosperity, 
economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And number seven, I speak blessings of anointings and promotion in your life to complete your excitement, to move forward in your purpose. Yeah, I just wanted to to, to make this okay. announcement. Um, ne next Sunday is going to be uh, uh, Pastor Shannon's new, uh, I would say, a uh, uh, starting of their home services. So we're going to actually start the uh, band addiction part of this uh, service. Um, if you ha have your Bibles, go to Numbers chapter 6. If you want to read verse 24, 25, and 26. Um, if you have your piece of paper with you that, that I uh, printed out for you, then we're going to read just that little speech there. Um, are you uh, ready? Yeah. Okay. It, it says here, may God bless you. May God keep you. May God smile on you. May God gift you. May God look you full in the face and make you prosper.